combo they love to use, and with the long pants on, it helps out with that. Of course, over here in Japan, it's legal. Flashing the front kick early. You wonder, even with all the, I mean, to be in the Olympics, to be in the World Cup like Mo Kwong has, to uh, jump right in here like this, how is he going to handle this now, first time on the mat? Especially with a guy like the on top of his. Wow, look at the arm bar. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's, wow, that's tight, too. Well, he's got a good job. He's real flexible. You can see the elbows turn out. Yeah. He's got a pin off on his armpit. It's going to be a tough job getting out of this. Anticipation of the crowd. He curls, his, he curls his left leg back around his head and that's what finishes off. He's got his leg straight. You know, get way out. <laughs> what about the youngster early on here? Those are the new dismission. That was a huge battle trying to get out of that. Let me get out, get out of that position. Incredible. Bo Blanc coming out and giving everything he had here in the early going. Oh, 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 He's pulling tight. Trying to cap off this night with a first round submission. Come in here and ruin this evening for him. He's not going to let him spoil his new year, even if he has to drag him out to the middle of the ring and throw some punches. Oh, wow, that great. was a solid jump. What a great head punch. Jeez. Yeah, like I said, you got to be careful with those kind of head punches. Four times in each one of those. And again, you see the official warning there, the young. Let go of the ropes. Aoki hoping to make a short work here of the newcomer. As we're about 15 minutes away from 2008 here in Tokyo. Yuki tends to have great positions, beat the guy up with his hands and sits back for a submission that he, might or, he may or may not get because of the position he's dropping back into these heel hooks and his foot locks. Take you away from your striking position. Because I think there's a last thing that I want to do to come on get back up on his feet. Now I'll be out, but Jumbo Kwai, I think he would be happy just to stay there. They're going to restart him out in the middle of the ring. I thought they were standing him back up, so I, I was hoping they were, actually. I think most everyone here was. Looks like you say, they hope they get his punches going and want to go to the ground in anyway. And here, Aoki now with the hammer, trying to put the hammer down and wrap up this night. A lot of action, a lot of work. Didn't get too much damage. Target 
trying to work on the feet. Now he moves back up. Elke got out of every avoided on bar attempt earlier. about halfway through this first round. It's the first time I've ever seen a yoke in, a, in, a, in, a, in any kind of submission position that he wasn't putting on. Aoki got himself out of trouble early. Looked like he was getting back in control. And I mean, his control of the pace here. And it's, it's been kind of like everything's just about a half a step out of rhythm for him right now. Look at this. Well, that's a tight, tight position. He's got good, good judo game on top to go try to finish this submission. Jungle Kwan, who's making his pro debut. Great judo background. Gets the season Aoki. Aoki's doing a great job of keeping his hands locked up, so he can't get extended. Oh, wow. wow. I've never seen that defensive court ever, where you literally let go and rotate your shoulder and your elbow around to pull the arm out. What about the appreciation for this capacity crowd here at the St. Thomas Sports Arena, the Super Arena? That it's been tonight for MMA Action Live here on HDNet. It's the second time he's been caught in that position. Hey, okay, I wonder if he's going to learn now that he, he can get caught. Even though he's got great defense, you don't want to take that risk for three times. I wouldn't think. Aoki landed a couple of solid punches here in this uh, first round. We approach the three minute mark. I tell you, the young man from South Korea, though, not been very rattled here, has he, in his pro debut? And well, obviously, being in the Olympics, he's never been to World Championships a couple of times, sets you up for, yeah. especially when you, you know, come from the Asian market, you're playing judo, you know, obviously, uh, Japan is the best in the world tradition. Uh, when you, Asian Championships over here in judo, it's huge. It's, it's packed like this for the Asian Championships in judo. You know, you have 20,000 fans. That's a huge amount of people. Watch you compete, so hopefully that transfer it looks like, because he's not panicking by any means. No. As they take a look there in uh, Wokong's corner. Check a little bit on the eye area there. He's blinking, but he comes back out, and we resume. It's like there's swelling there on that left eye, Frank. I think he got, he got poked in there. Yeah. He can't even keep it open right now. Oh, gee, oh, wow. What a right. Okay, I wasn't sure if Yoki dropped because he got hit or if he immediately dropped to go to a submission. I don't know. Maybe he did drop that. First, it looked like it looked like Buck Long had tagged him pretty well. That was a strong right hand right in the chin. And it may work out now for A.O. We'll see what he can do. Elke, who really got into jiu-jitsu when he was in college. Hey, Logan, come up. He'll come back up on his feet. Two minutes to go in this first round. See a difference now in, uh, oh, wow. As he gets tagged, as they jumps, jumps position, he felt confident stepping in and out with the hands. Okay. He dropped Aoki a little bit. Aoki yeah. got a good shot in there. Now he's back on the ground, though. Well, Juan, hanging in tough here in his pro debut against the guy who's won eight straight. Stop, 
あっちょっと待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って残り1分。Wonder how he would handle the pressure. So far, so good for him. He stayed right in there against Aoki. <laughs> you get, I get the feeling, Frank, that Aoki is just going to end this immediately. You feel it once. Sometimes he's going to punch the guy. He's going to get a submission. Something's going to happen. Hasn't yet, but there's still always that sense here that. Aoki's uh, always a move away from win. He's been he's been that guy always in this fight. Yeah, yeah. It's close. It's, it's gonna happen at some point, and all of a sudden he slaps the submission on Atoba. He smashed that right on the Anatova. Well, they will move on as this round comes to an end. Great first round, a lot of action, and we saw it's it's the two best submission attempts by Bu Kyung and. You would assume it would be from Yoki, and he almost caught him yeah. both times. Jumbo Kwang, who uh, has that judo experience, and here it is. I mean, Aoki faced the pressure very early in this round. And he, he got his way through. You can see him snap out immediately because his arm's free. He starts to counter, rolls over, makes his move to get to his feet. I mean, it's great. It's, there he slips it out, keeps his arm bent. I've, I've never seen that that defense before ever, and then it, it must work only for him because I don't think I'd be able to do it. Probably blow my elbow out because I'm inflexible. It opposed to Aoki's flexibility, great swing pass is what they call it. You grab both feet and swing them by, overhand right, right to the head. Aoki's improving his hand game. Before we've been we've been picking on him as commentators and broadcasters, at least specifically me, I've been picking on him because he's a submission guy with no hand game, which isn't going to work very well at the lightweight division with the many guys there are that are so good. Well. He's getting better with his hand game now. He's getting more confidence. He's actually throwing punches out there. And he's able to take a punch, which yeah. is important. As we get ready for round two, see that left eye is shut. Jungle Kwong uh, poked in that eye and it is shut. That left eye of his. I was going to swing around it. Okay, excuse me, he had to get hit in at some point. All I saw was the poke. That's why he went to the corner, but at some point he had to get hit in that thing. It is, you're right, it is, it is swelled up enough where he can't open it at all. That, 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 yeah, that's a full-blown mouse he's got there. That's, that's, that's all over his eye. That's going to be hard because on the left side of his body, he can't see anything coming around. In this case, it's Aoki's look. I, I wonder if Aoki, you, you figure he's noticed that. That's why I was wondering if he would start out early and try to work that side. Shooting in, Aoki now on top. What's Aoki going to do? Yeah, I wonder if those punches might start coming to that left side. Oh, Kwong, if his eyes swollen shut. He can spend a lot of energy to get to this pass. And he's sitting here trying to cinch things up. He's, I, he looks like he's moving for an arm bar, but he has a far arm hook. Yeah. 
Now, now he looked like maybe he got poked in his right eye or got a punch in his right eye. It looked like he was blinking himself there. Because Aoki's hips and his flexibility, it's hard. He can't move right now. Jung is cut on the bottom. He can't move his hips, can't move his legs. He's basically all he has is upper torso. He's not going to get him out of his mouth position. He's going to have to sit here and take punishment. Well, Ho Kong, I guess, uh, a nice learning experience here in his pro debut, and certainly he's hung in there against a guy who uh, would be a tough test even for a guy with eight or nine fights under his belt. You know, really, at this, at this point, Yoki Dorgan is he's winning as a takedown. Yeah. He's really not winning control. He's not winning submission attempts. He's not winning submission defense. You know, it's, it's, it, this fight still is pretty close. Because if, if, if we have yeah, about two minutes, just under two minutes left in this, in this, uh, in this uh, fight, if he can get off the bottom, get a little flurry going, a good 45 second floor, he can win this fight still. But Yuji Shimano is the ref, who's the official, the third, the third guy in there fighting tonight. If he can get some movement out of this. Here it goes now, Aoki. Just a point of emphasis in the full mouth as he... Most of those punches are being shielded, but uh, certainly rattling Hong Kong here in this final round. I was saying before that flurry, if, uh, if he doesn't move, Yuji will bring him back on the feet, but if he doesn't move now, Yuji will stop the fight altogether. He's covering up. He's got no defense for this now. Outside of Big John McCarthy, uh, honestly, Yuji Shimano is the, you know, yeah. the, one of the best refs. You know, those are the top two for me. I've had both rack me and watch their fights. A minute to go, Aoki. Continues with the punishment here. Some solid blows being thrown in there. You wonder now, is he going to work on, I think I'll work on my yep. submission game. I'll try the rear naked choke while I'm here. This is what he wants to be, this, this position. <laughs> Jungle Kong. Number coming. Trying to hold off here. And at least go the distance in his first pro fight. This is not make the distance. Now under 10 seconds to go, he is going the distance against a solid fighter in Aoki. And that's the end of the fight.